Okay, perfect. So we have something important. I mean, <laughs> you might not see the difference, but it's important uh, that you make this upgrade. But well, all of this that I'm going to present is in IDX Broker and you can find it in idxadons.com. Um, high level released the API version two months ago. And when we started creating this high level integration, uh, we started using the API version one. So what you need to do is to upgrade to the version two. Uh, whenever or when you log into the IDX addons uh, dashboard, you are going to see this uh, like a banner or message that says that you need to uh, re-authenticate your main broker account. And you only need like to click here and it will take you to the setup page. Uh, well, this is because High-level version one is going to be deprecated on June 1st. So we migrated most, I mean, all of the code that we have for the high-level integration. And now other, uh, some of the benefits also of up upgrading is that you, we will have like more, we can add more features, for example, we can start like playing with the images and store them in your locations. Or I was also seeing that, I mean, we haven't done this yet, but there's an option like to add a contact to a workflow. So we might be able to add like more features using this new uh, high level API. And also it's more secure. So what do you need to do to switch or to re-authenticate. If you are using a high-level account as the main broker account, or if you have a single agent account, you only need like to click on that link that I showed you and it will redirect you to this page. If you haven't connected before to the high-level version two, it's going to show a button like this one that says connect to high-level. So you only need to click on it and it's going to show something like this. It's going to show like all the available sub accounts that you have access to, and you only need to connect your sub account. It might show uh, a message that like this one that this is only like to ensure that you have uh, some of the custom fields already added. If they are already created. We are only uh, going to map the existing custom fields with the ones you already have. And if you click on the finish button, it's going to take like up to 30 seconds. But after that, you will going to, you're going to see something like this and the connection is done. And also if you already have a connection because some of our apps were already using the version two, you need to remove this connection and connect again. You need to follow the same steps. You need to reconnect again because we have added more scopes. The scopes are related to the, for example, to these images or other things that are going to be needed for this whole uh, integration. So it's important that you uh, connect again. And finally, if you have an office account, you also need uh, to click on the link that is going to appear there and connect each of the agents to the corresponding high-level sub-account. And that's it. If you have any comments or questions, you can send us an email at support at realtycandy.com. All right. Thank you, Maida. Well, you sure make that sound uh, simple and easy. So this is basically gives everybody an upgrade with more features um, between their IDX add-ons and high-level. Is that what the yeah, idea is. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, with with the agents, you were showing that agent page. So each agent, they'll need, just need to disk, unconnect each agent and then hit the connect button again and it'll just do the same thing. Yeah, I'm well, for the agents, uh, this is, they only need to connect uh, like for the first time because for the agents, we were only using the version one. 
So okay. they don't have to remove the connection. Okay, cool. Very good. All right. Um, does anybody have any questions about the API thing specifically before we look at something else? Okay, appreciate that, Maida, that's great. Carlos is gonna show us something today. I'm, I'm gonna give him a little intro here. This is an, a new project that we've been working on. You can see I'm starting to fidget, and move my computer around a little bit and stuff because I'm a little bit nervous. This is, we, we call this leader uh, MLS and it's, it's designed originally to replace um, the MLS software or an IDX software for folks that live in places like Mexico, Spain, Malaysia. Um, we've had some people ask about this for Australia, England, uh, other countries, and they're looking for a way to be able to share listings <clears throat> with people uh, and use it in their word in their um, I apologize in their high level website. And we also have people that have asked about something like this for real estate investors. So these are off MLS or off market properties for real estate investors, wholesalers, flippers, and people like that. And they want a way to be able to load all these properties and be able to display them inside of um, high level. So this is a little different than what we've done in the past. Almost all of our software uses IDX Broker, iHome Finder, uses the MLS data. And this is a little bit of a step away from that because we have a bunch of people that have been asking us recently about something that is not the MLS data. And, and this is a new product. We're going to offer this in two solutions. I don't know if Carlos is going to get into this, but there's going to be one where you can just have, you know, a, a monthly thing and as a you can load some properties on your website, manage them over there, and we'll get some pricing here in the next week or two. And then there's going to be another option where you can set this up for your own network of real estate investors or your own network, you know, if somebody's working, uh, some folks are asking us about doing this in Dubai and in different countries and stuff, they'll probably have their own little network and we'll, there'll be some different pricing for that. So we're gonna have kind of a network or an enterprise solution and we're gonna have a single user solution. But Carlos, why don't you dive in and show us what you've been working on. Okay, thank you, James, for the introduction. Let me show you uh... The progress well, of the pro, uh, the progress of the project, and here we have a high level website. And what is new here is that we have added a search widget and a sign in button. These components, um, mm. these widgets are uh, on a high level website, and this is what adds the functionality, the extra functionality that we need in order to upload properties, search properties, and save properties. So here we have a button where you can sign in or create a new account. And you, if you click on I'm a seller, uh, you will be required to complete the form. Uh, let me log in in, in an account. Hmm. I think I, I will need to create an account. <laughs> Let's create it quickly. Okay, I require to complete the form. Okay, now that I have created an account, I will be redirected to my properties. Uh, or my agent profile. Right now I don't have any property, but I can upload a new property right here. So what why this is something that we are very excited about because this is a high level website. And in a high level website, it doesn't have this functionality to upload properties, but we are able to do it on on your on your website. So you can uh, recreate this on any of your sub accounts or your clients account. So let's upload a property. And here we have a complete form. Uh, 
with a lot of uh, fields and let me create a new property that I have here. I'm going to create an, a, a property and uh, I need to start typing the location. So let's type here an address. Okay. And as you can see, the exact location is going to be set at the right map. So let's complete the form. I need to set a price, a property type, how many beds, full bats, half bats, the square feet, the year, year build, condition, and a description. Okay, this is also important. We can upload a contract here. And for the photos, you can drag and drop your photos. So let me select three photos and here we have the photos for this property. Um, but I don't want this image to be the main photo. I want to select this one. So I can click on it and select. Uh, I can uh, add more features of this property and I can click on save. It will say that this listing is going to be on review. Uh, that is because we don't want uh, the listings to be uh, fake listings or with images that uh, we don't want to have on the website. So you can uh, review and approve these listings or not. I want to see all my listings and here we have, I have one property and it's waiting for the approve, approval. So this is a, a private a agent profile, but if I want to search all the properties that all user has uh, submitted, we have this search page where you can see all the listings that people have submitted and you can start a uh, filtering. If you click on one property, it's going to redirect you to the details page with all the information that you have submitted, you have remarks, you have the map, location, features, images, and the similar listings. And as you can see at the URL, we have details and I, an ID of the, of the property. So this link you can copy and send it to, to your clients and you will have a listing on your high level website. So we are working on this. Um, Right now you can upload and search for properties. We are still working on saving a search to receive a market updates via email and being able to save properties. So we are very, very excited about this project because this is something that high level doesn't have and it extends the functionalities that high level has and that you can offer to your client. Thank you for for your attention. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you for sharing that, Carlos. That's great. So like you said, this is kind of the first iteration of this. We're just, we've been working on it. Um, our, our, we're going to do our official launch on this the first week of June, which is in a couple weeks now, or a week and a half. And uh, we still have some more features that we're going to be building in through the course of June, and and our you know the the whole enchilada is going to be ready to go. Uh, we think you know about the fourth of July, but we have some folks that are starting to use this that are going to be loading properties in and showing it to their clients, and so we're pretty excited about this. Um, anybody have any questions, comments, suggestions about uh, this leader MLS project? Is this strictly a feature that's going to be on GHL websites or also for a WordPress website? That's a, great, <laughs> that's a great question. Yes. Um, I'm glad to, to share with you that this um, integration can be implemented on any website that allows custom uh, code or custom HTML. Let me show you here in the backend. Uh, this is the website, and I'm going to see how the widgets are being uh, added. 
here I'm adding a custom HTML JavaScript and I just need these two lines of code. One that loads all the the components, the widgets that I need or yeah necessary in order to make it work. And then you can start adding widgets like this. This is the quick search widget, as you can see here. And you can add it on your WordPress website. And also here we have the sign in button that is right here. So you can use it on any any platform that allows custom code. That is most of them. This is a short, short code, just like the rest of the widgets. Then, yeah, there's there's going to be there's an admin dashboard too, where the administrator is going to be able to approve um, users and properties and things like that. We're, we we have it kind of branded right now, so that's why we didn't really show it here. But we're gonna. Um, that there'll, there'll be a dashboard in, you know, if I, we have a web app that runs it and then you'll be able to put these code snippets inside. Like, it's kind of like a short code. It's a little bit different, but if you put it in wherever it says custom code and it'll load on any platform. So should work on, should work. We haven't tested it on anything besides high level right now, but it should work on Wix, Squarespace, anything like that, that a person's going to be using. Good question. Um, any other questions about this uh, leader MLS project? Mm -hmm.